All right, next person is getting an Owen gun to the face. And then I just throw the Owen gun at just them. Just chuck it at them. What? <clears throat> Excuse me? Raiders! We were in Raider territory. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Raider territory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it isn't getting well done. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we gotta walk a little ways. That's right. I don't remember these train cars being here. I do. What are you talking about? Those have always been here. Have they? D yeah, they go wait, around wait, wait. Vault 3 because Vault 3 is like all Raider territory. Remember? Are we supposed to be checking out that building? The steel plant building? No, it's on the outside. It's, it, we gotta go around Vault 3. What is that building we just passed then? New Vegas Steel. Yeah, we need to go to a different steel wait, plant. I didn't realize there were two steelworks plants out here. I just didn't realize that Nevada was such a hotbed of steelworking. <laughs> The industrial district. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. The the famous steel mills of Nevada. <laughs> There's the steel mill we're going to. Yes. Good, good. You, you can understand my confusion. It looks yes, like... I, I understand your confusion. Yeah. So this steel working plant. Indeed. That's not guarded by fiends. Makes sense. Lion Cade. I think I'd rather fight a Lion Cade. Hey, look, it's hot. Only it actually... Ow! Oh, my God! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jay, you don't say it's hot. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> hot. Oh, never mind. You're lucky there's a grate on that. Hey, is that a note over here? Hosea Holotape 1. I think I hear something entering the mill. We must go fight them. We've got an intruder here. You there. Don't you move a muscle unless you want us to turn you into Swiss cheese. Who's us? Or I'll turn you into Swiss cheese. This is that? our turf. What the hell are you doing here? Better be a good fucking reason. Oh, but you didn't want us to enter this abandoned building? Yeah, what is this place and who are you guys? Also, sedate Beatrice by plane instead. I think you're misunderstanding the situation that you're in here. Nuh uh. Last I checked, I'm the one asking questions here. No, I'm the one asking questions. Now, will you answer the fucking question? No, I'm the one asking questions. Come on already. Tell me why the hell you're here. What do you want to know? I'm just a peddler of fine goods, friend. This wonderful abode looked as comfy as a place as any to settle. Traveling merchant, huh? You picked a bit of an odd place to set up shop. A steel mill wouldn't be my first pick to lay my head at night. Especially if it's in fiend territory. You're not selling goods to fiends now, are you? Ah, <laughs> he knows. Now, I don't sell to those scum. I'm t simply taking a shortcut to New Vegas. I-15 isn't as bad as people say. Admirable. It's not often you meet an idealist out here. And you're brave. Those Cazadors send shivers up my spine. All oh, the little buggers don't bother us Very none. well. You're welcome to leave here alive. Just try not to come back, as this is our turf. And we won't be as polite the second time. Who are you again? Boys, let them through. It's just a traveling merchant that's taking a wrong turn. Into a building. They'll be leaving shortly. Right now, actually. Yeah, right now. I'm leaving right now. Another day, another raid. It's getting tougher to stay under the radar. Hosea? What with the NCR relying more on bounty hunters to see them through. Like us! It's only gonna get more difficult with the fiends taking hits. Of drugs. They're scum, but undoubtedly a good distraction. The people of Vegas are strong, regardless of what House and the Republic think. Are, are they? I have faith the vultures will hold no matter what comes our way. Vultures? We actually caught a merc tailing us the other day. Mm. Was snooping around just outside the mill, thinking we didn't catch wind of him. We ambushed him when he went back to his room at the El Rey. Ah, sorry. Uh, we lost Tracy. Poor girl. Ah. Gonna have to tell her parents. Uh, that's never an easy job. Thankfully, we still managed to incapacitate him. Oh? Kid thinks we're gonna throw him into the furnace. Might do if he insists on following us. We're lucky the boy was still green. All things considered, that could have gone far worse. Still, Tracy. The boy says that the Hawthorne girl hired him to track us down. Girl's tougher than she looks. Thought she would have skipped town after the robbery. Some things have got to be done the hard way, it seems. Mm -hmm. I offered the young kid, Frank's his name, a choice. Let's hope he makes the right decision. A choice, eh? Mm-hmm. To join them? Oh, he might, he might have taken Chase's place. Get out of here. 
before I change my mind. Can't discuss with this guy. Very well, I'm sure they'll try to shoot us if we tell them. Uh, yes, these coffee mugs will be great wares to sell later. Ah, yes, uh, you know, just, just don't mind me, just a simple man stealing all of your food items. I'll be going now. So, Hosea and Tracy were part of this gang of five people. Yes. Tracy is gone, so it's a gang of four. And Frank, I believe, the kid we're looking for. Maybe he hired Frank on as the new, as like a new replacement person. for Tracy. Or maybe he was just like, yeah, just get the fuck out of here, man. You're you're green, you dumb idiot. We'll report back to Ella Hawthorne and let her know what we found. Hey, Ella, guess what? We found out that this guy, that, that, that like stuff happened. I'm sure you wanted more information than that. <laughs> Friend of mine used to lay a pile of caps outside the campfire at night. He said it was to ward off raiders. Did it work? So I asked him, how in Jesus' name are a dozen caps going to stop a raider? <laughs> and he says, because they can't count past 11. <laughs> Wouldn't they kill you and then just take <laughs> the caps and then count them later? Welcome back. At this rate, you'll be a regular. What can I get you? If coming here twice counts as being a regular. I looked into some leads and it appears that Frank was kidnapped by a street gang. Sounds like a good lead. While you were away, I did some digging and heard about a couple of people who've been robbed recently. Mm. Oh. The Crimson Caravan's been hit a few times recently. I also heard Cassidy Caravans and a few other smaller players got burned to a crisp, too. Oh, that's something unrelated. Don't worry about I that I also one. remember Pa saying before I left that some of our caravans had been attacked, coming and going from our ranches. Not sure which of the attacks are related, if any. Could be one big coincidence, but I'm starting to have my doubts. Suppose we can look into all of them. I wonder if there's a pattern. Definitely something to think about. They're all after money. Oh, well, all that matters is that we catch the bastards. I want my caps back. Did you manage to overhear the name of the gang or anything that could help us? Apparently, the gang is called the Vultures, according to this holotape. Yeah. Well, that's way lamer than I expected. Normally, raider gangs call themselves something intimidating, and I'm just left feeling kind of indifferent. That's fine. That's a good thing. There's duds in every avenue of life, I guess. Anyway, I recommend you go speak to Jackie over at the old Mormon fort. They don't need notoriety. She's one of those hippies. The way I heard it, she's got some contacts in some gangs in Vegas. She's helped a few fiends rehabilitate. Either way, we need that old bat. Chat her up and see if you can learn anything about the vultures. Alright, I'll do it. You got any questions? This gang seems to have a vendetta against you. Any idea why? My father is quite a powerful man. He has won quite a few big business deals and has a fair few ranches in his name. There's probably quite a few people jealous of our family, but honestly, that's just a guess. Who knows what these vultures want? Hmm, we'll have to ask them. Maybe there's a question you have that I can actually answer. Uh, well, I think they captured Frank. He might be in trouble. Don't worry about him. Your main focus should be getting my caps back. We'll cross the Frank Bridge when it comes to it. Shouldn't I be more worried about saving him as opposed to getting your money back? Do you know anything else about the vultures? The only thing I can tell you is they must be small time. I've heard of most gangs in Vegas. You got the Kings, the Scorpions. All the cool animal names were taken. You've also got those bastard fiends. Drugged out wackos. Never heard of the vultures, though. Gotta say, that's a new one for me. So tell us about your contact, Jackie. As I said, she's one of the followers. Those kind of types pretend they're holier than thou, but they're human like the rest of us. No, they don't. But there's that old saying that never seems to disappear. I'll scratch your back and you scratch mine. Do her a favor and I'm sure she'll tell you what we want to know. Could also try sweet talking her or maybe she keeps a diary. I don't know. Hmm. Either way, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just try not to start any fights. I don't want that associated with my brand. So don't name drop, you got it. Any other questions? Ella Hawthorne sent me, and then I just open fire on them. <laughs> I don't got anything else. Good. Go and see what that old bat knows then. Good, you smell bad, and I'm tired of looking at you. And now to go to the Mormon Fort, a place we definitely <laughs> haven't ever terrorized before. We've never done anything bad to the Mormon Fort multiple times. <laughs> Who do we talk to around here? Jackie, 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 Jackie. Sorry, stranger. 
I'm not sure you're talking to the right person. I'm only a simple therapist, and from what I can see, you're not one of my clients. Oh, yeah, we definitely- Yeah, but I need therapy real bad. If you're looking for medical attention, or if you want to donate supplies, then you should talk to Julie. She's the young woman with the mohawk. Although, you do look pretty weathered. No offense. What do you mean, weathered? We look spry as the day we started. Yeah, I'm not weathered at all. Just been doing this for seven years. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> Don't worry, stranger. I didn't mean anything bad by it. You just look like someone who can look after themselves. I heard you know some things about the local gangs. What can you tell me about the vultures? <coughs> yeah, I know about them. I could tell you, but it depends. What do you want with them? The Freeside Co-op was robbed, and I think the vultures might be responsible. Robbing local businesses sounds very out of character for them. Normally, they stick to NCR or raider targets. It's an NCR target. See, their leader is a man named Hosea. He used to be one of us. The followers, I mean. Yes. Wait, oh! He was sick of the NCR pushing the common folk around, taking what they want, sending all of Vegas' electricity and water back to California. I see. I sympathize with him. But there are better ways to fight that don't involve violence. Unfortunately, that's not the prevailing opinion out there in the Wastes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he must have a good reason for robbing the Freeside Co-op. I'd like to have a word with him, load shotgun with malicious intent. I know Hosea. He's an idealist at heart. He wouldn't do that without having a good reason for it. Unless the man has changed over the years. Probably. Possibly. We still keep in touch. We were close while he was still one of us, and still send each other letters from time to time. If he were to abandon his silly crusade, we'd welcome him back. We could really use his help these days. I'm getting paid to take him down, tell me where he is. Yeah, tell me where he is, I'm gonna murder him. I think talking with him will help me make up my mind. It's always wise to meet someone yourself first, before you make up your mind about them. Exactly! But uh, we just met. I don't know if I can trust you. You might just go ahead and murder Hosea. We might. I can't do that to one of my old friends. We almost certainly will. Mm, but there is something you could do to help me trust you, if you don't mind doing me a favor, that is. Sure, what is it? A few weeks back, a little girl came through that gate there. She couldn't have been older than six years old. Her parents were nowhere to be found, which is sadly a more common occurrence than you think. Wait, do you want me to adopt her? Because I won't do it's that. It's getting rougher out there, I swear. What happened to her parents? Murdered, I'm afraid. My raiders? As I said, it's shocking how many times this kind of thing happens out there. It was this gang called the Not Vultures. I don't think she spoke a word for an entire week, that poor girl. Eventually, we got her to open up a little after some therapy. She's still not 100%, but these things take time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I hope she's going to be all right. As long as I can meet Hosea, I guess I can do this. I'm glad, even though you're clearly doing this for the wrong reasons. You'll still need to know what happened to her if you're going to help. I managed to piece together what I could of her story, and it seems like she's the survivor of a raider attack. It was, it's always raiders! The family was ambushed just outside of Westside, coming out of the thorn. And her parents were shot right in front of her. Animals. Why were they going into the thorn? Whatever. When we got the girl talking. She kept joking about how her father was always losing his watch. The watch was missing from the corpses when I went to go talk to the militia. The gang responsible must have taken it. Aha. Uh -huh. I'd like you to retrieve that pocket watch. It would mean a lot to her, and also a lot to me. Do we have a deal? I will get the watch. I think the most likely culprit is the Scorpion Gang. They hang out by the Monte Carlo Suites. Here I am! It's likely they take the loot back there after their raids. I don't think the watch will be any exception. You get that trinket, and I'll organize your meeting with Hosea. Have you got any questions? I will do my absolute best to not pepper it with shrapnel. Also, bringing the watch back might resurface some bad memories for the child. You're right. It might be best for her to try and move on. Bringing back the watch might bring back some suppressed trauma. 
That was not my intention at all. Believe me, it's okay. Forget about the favor. I can set up your meeting with Hosea either way. Oh, but I kind of wanted to go get the watch. I'll send a letter to my contact. Hosea should meet you if I put a good word in for you. Sick! The meeting place should be in one of the rooms on the second floor of the Gray in North Vegas. Hosea and Crandon came to an agreement that the vultures could stay there for their help defending the town. Okay. Try and convince Hosea to turn himself in, or at least stop the attacks. This doesn't have to end in violence. Thanks for the lead on a pretty cool pocket watch. Since you don't want it, we'll go get it for ourselves. A Monte Carlo Suites. What the fuck are you doing around these parts, kid? Why do you have- Don't you know this place is the property of the Scorpions? It's a weird accent you got. The, the who? The baddest gang in these parts. What game are you playing saying you don't know us? Uh, I follow New Vegas. You're lucky your vet is in a good mood. Otherwise, we would have shot you already. So why don't you buzz off before something bad happens to you? The scorpions don't go buzz, though. I'm here to squish some scorpions! No, you motherfucking ain't. Yeah, I am. You're gonna die instead, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm gonna die instead, huh? Yes, it was me. It was me that died instead. Mike, look, I'm dead. Rotting in the sun, I see, yes. My guy, were you really stepping to me with this fucking busted ass 357 Magnum revolver? <laughs> My dude! I defended this empty base! <laughs> you are. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I think Yvette's already dead. We, we came here and murdered her a long time ago. Oh, did we? I think we may have, yeah. <laughs> the doorman just didn't pick up on that. Er, he was on smoke break when we came here and killed everyone. And then he came back and he was like, man, it's weird. Nobody's come out here to talk to me. I guess I'll just keep doing my job. <laughs> ah, Yvette's there it is. Foot Locker. Found her Foot Locker. A peculiar broken pocket watch. That must be it. And we can sell it at a high price. Back to Ella Fitzgerald. I know it's not her name. I can't stop calling her that. <laughs> it's a problem. By the way, I figured out why uh, Lake Superior never gives up her dead. Because it's fresh water, so nothing really floats. It's so cold and it's it's fresh water, oh, so... Oh, so everything just sinks to the bottom because... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so that explains yeah. that lyric. Hit. Uh oh Uh-oh. Uh oh oh <laughs> Great! Go! We came back and this is what we see, huh? Remember Bitter Springs, dead... Oh, boy. Well, Roy's dead. Who's Roy again? Roy was the guy outside. Mike, come on. Oh, that's right. The Roy was the guy outside <laughs> that was always trying to go on smoke break. It's so memorable. Oh, wait. The, is that Hawthorne? Well... Shoot. She still had her shotgun. Mike, this, I just thought of something. What, what are you thinking of? This means we get to keep all the money. Did she pay us yet? No, no, when, when, we get, when we recover the caps, we get to keep all of it. Oh. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh, to the merc who's been hunting me. That must be us. The NCR is not welcome in Vegas. Their system of governance is broken, and all those who uphold it are part of the problem. That system is our enemy, not the small business owners, workers, and not even the soldiers who fight us. The problem is that these people are so devoted to the idea of the old world that they'll die to defend it. Oh, good, he left us a copy of his manifesto. What? No, they're not. She's just trying to... Whatever. Until they understand that the very thing they're upholding and the problems it causes, we... The vultures are happy to oblige them. Any bootlickers are welcome to join them. To the people of Vegas, here's our gift to you. The food grown on Vegas land from our soil, we give back to their rightful owners. They, meanwhile, every single farmer's like, dude, they were going to sell that for me? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, right? Soon it won't be just the scraps that we scavenge or that which the NCR gives out of pity. We can defeat this two-headed beast together, the vultures. And then they left us an audio log. If this hollow tape has found you... Then you've found what remains of Ella Hawthorne. Yeah, thanks. You might not understand why we've done this. She was the daughter of Jack Hawthorne, one of the largest Brahmin barons in the NCR. I'm sure you know the name. Not really, no. This was the Republic's attempt to slowly take over the farming industry in Vegas. Fair to say, that attempt now lies in ashes. She was just a simple traitor. I know you've been working with Hawthorne, but now I'm giving you the chance to do what's right. Avenger? Come meet me in the gray. Second floor. In the gray? I'll be waiting. Maybe, let's give him the benefit of the doubt for a second. Maybe this is how the NCR was going to muscle their way on in there. Maybe that's what they were planning on doing. But now, 
You just killed the daughter of a major land baron. So what the fuck do you think the NCR is gonna do now? Oh, I guess they'll just walk away. Oh, well, uh, time to wash our hands of the whole thing. We don't want Vegas after all. Murder always de-escalates any conflict. Yeah, exactly. Hello, hi, what do you want? So you've seen Hosea's work firsthand then? I saw the whole thing. Poor girl didn't stand a chance as soon as the shooting started. Why didn't you do anything? Bastards have got a grudge against the NCR. Ella was one of us, and we'll make them pay for what they've done. I've heard you're something of a mercenary around these parts. So I'm here to let you know that the bear rewards its friends handsomely. Is that us? Are we friends? Especially those that help in the fight against terrorist scum. Now, my sources tell me that you've secured a meeting with Hosea. Is that correct? You're very clearly with the NCR. Why on earth would the NCR care about a small store owner in Freeside, hmm? Do you know why it's called the Freeside Co-op? No? Well, the girl's father is the charitable type. Was he? This is just what happens when you try to help these animals. I swear the troops should just come and occupy the shithole. I'm sure that'll work. Either way, Ella was one of our own. Hosea will learn the hard way that when you mess with one of us, then you'll have to deal with all of us. What do you think the vultures killed Ella? Her father, Jack Cawthorn, is a very powerful man in the Republic. Made his name building a Brahmin Empire. He's helped create a lot of jobs for the folks east of Klamath over the years. Klamath! He won't be best pleased when he hears of the news. No, I don't think so. Well, because his daughter's dead! Gee, I'd, I'd be a little cheesed too! As for why they killed her, could be to get to old man Jack. Who knows? Trying to get in the mind of Osea is a hard task, I'm afraid. So is there a reward for killing these guys? How about knowing you helped the NCR stop a dangerous terrorist? How about you give me money? If that doesn't interest you, then how does a thousand caps sound? Okay, that sounds better. I have no more questions. Good. Glad I could help. Now, back to talking about that meeting you've got with Hosea. Would I be right in my assumption? Yeah, I'm supposed to meet him. As much as I'd like to string that bastard up right now, the brass hasn't given me the go-ahead. Oh, the brass. We've heard rumors from the locals that the vultures might have discovered something big. Command thinks it could be something dangerous. They don't want to leave our outposts open to retaliation without a full reconnaissance of their capabilities. So what I want you to do is go to this meeting with Hosea and try to get in his good books. Figure out what he's got planned. He wants to reconnoiter it. Do that, and you'll be rewarded for your efforts. Reconnoiter. So what do you say? Alright, fine, I'll go meet him. If you can find out where their stronghold is located and what they're planning, then we've got that asshole dead to rights. Come meet me and my squad at Camp Golf once he trusts you. Alright, let's let's go talk to Hosea. Yes. So, the, okay, so... So we assaulted Ella with a gang of five people, mm -hmm. lost Tracy, then came back with a gang of four people and was successful this time? Uh, he might have had Frank with him. Ooh, that's true. He may, well, I'm not sure on that one, but I feel like he may have hired Frank. Because he said, I'm going to give him a choice. We'll see if he makes the smart one. I see. Would he really want to put the mission's success in Frank's hands? He did admit that Frank was green. Maybe Frank had inside knowledge of Ella's store or could offer some attackful insight. Like, like what? <laughs> Where the security cameras are? Where the back door is. He's, he's going in there to kill her, not steal a Snickers bar. The stupid guard goes on smoke break every five minutes. <laughs> Who's this fancy dressed guy over Ooh, here? I'm guessing that's hey. him. <laughs> no, it's oh, not. Oh, no! No, no, that's Preston Garvey. <laughs> I don't think that... Is. That's Preston Garvey. Watch. Who is this guy? Hey, you... Can I help you with something, stranger? Oh, it's Crandon! Oh, never mind. Never mind. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Man, uh, everyone here's got some fancy duds. Really scared me for a second there. <laughs> this guy, that's such a sharp outfit. Damn! Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR let them go. Also, you're That's not allowed unusual. to be wearing the American flag, my dude. Uh, America's dead. He doesn't care. The flag code is a real thing. Not anymore. America's dead. I wonder if I kill him, if it will just instantly fail both quests. Possibly. And what, what she'll say if I go, like, kill him. Hey! No one gets in to see the boss without my say-so. <laughs> you are a sallow motherfucker! <laughs> I'm a friend of Jackie's. I'm here to see Hosea. So you're the one the boss told me about. Yeah, you definitely look the part. <laughs> Go right on through. He's waiting for you. So! Ah, so you came after all. Nice to meet you. You are old! Come, take a seat up here at the table when you're ready. 
Watch out! Alternatively, we'll kill everybody. This is what you get for he messing with the NCR, he said. Three -eyed cat staring at a mouse I hole. am now a hitman for the NCR with my little hitman revolver. Just a resident here. Let fall with this. Uh, Ranger, where are you? So you came after all. Glad to see you're on our side. What can I do for you? Jose is dead. What? I told you not to kill him! You were supposed to gain his trust! <laughs> now we'll never know what they're planning. They're not planning anything, because they're dead. You're not getting a single cap from me until you clean up this mess. Some scouts were able to find the location of a vulture base. But Jose was in charge of the vultures. You're going to kill every single one of those bastards to make this little problem go away. Understood? But, but Jose was in charge of them. No, we're done working for you. Yeah. So you go and make the problem worse and then want to bail? Yep. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Let me tell you, the NCR won't forget this. Ah, oh, yeah, you will. You got a short-term memory. Because there's buckshot inside your frontal lobe. Check your fire. But no, we didn't actually do that. Ahem. Ah, so we finally meet. Jackie told me about you. I bet you were expecting someone a lot more intimidating when you first heard the stories. I was expecting someone younger, I suppose. Sorry for not living up to your imagination. The title of Raider Boss doesn't really conjure up images of a 70-year-old man, does it? How are you that old? I guess you are wrinkly like a vulture. No matter. It's good to finally put a face to the name I've been hearing so much about. I have no idea why, but I have a good feeling about you. Probably just nostalgia. Used to be a young nomad myself. Always on the lookout for raiders. God, that was probably before you were even born. Yeah. Anyway, enough about me. What made you decide to come here after all? I want to know why you hate the NCR so much. We're in desperate need of a new system. We're heading down the same path that the old world did. And I, we, can't just stand by and watch it happen. The Brahmin barons of the NCR are rot that's been allowed. When President Tandy was in office, there was a limit on the amount of cattle. The bigger landowners couldn't just be content with their success. They needed to have more that the rich and powerful hold too much sway over the fate of the Republic. Yeah, the NCR is a den full of snakes. I know this. Most people in the NCR are good people, if you give them a chance. Then don't kill them! However, I agree. The best way to kill a snake is to cut off its head. What was Ella Hawthorne the snake's head? Leadership and policies need to change for the betterment of all. And not just those ruthless enough to exploit the labor of others. These people have massive influence on a the truly free market that would allow enough. anyone with the determination. The farmhands who voted Kimball in are working longer hours and getting paid less than when the French sent their ruling class to the guillotines. The aristocracy of the other countries around Europe had to curtail their greed. Join me, and we can build a future for the people of Vegas. I have some more questions. Very well. I'll do what I can to answer. Since you love to talk. And remember, my door is always open. Okay, we can leave. Ask me anything at any time that suits you. What? Okay, first, why the hell do you call your gang the vultures? Some rag in the Republic called us that after one of our raids. Smooth operation, that was. Took the food intended for McCarran and fed many a person in outer Vegas for a solid week. Ever since reading that, me and everyone else in the gang have wore that name as a badge of honor. What happened to the other Merc? Oh, you mean Frank. Yes! He's safe and sound. You might be meeting him sooner than expected. You're going to send us to meet him? Any other questions? You're hindering the NCR's war effort. The Legion's going to conquer Vegas. If that happens... Ironically, as much as it pains me, we need the NCR to hold off the Legion. It's looking likely, despite their incompetence, that they will defeat the Legion when they come knocking at the dam again. That's a good thing. With enough recruits and the correct people on my side, we might be able to delay them annexing the area. A badly beaten NCR will not have the stomach for a long, drawn-out war after their narrow victory over Caesar's Legion. Are you interested in joining us? Or have you not made your mind up? As long as you pay us, we'll join. Yeah, fine, I'll join. Good. You're just the type of person I need. 
Although the NCR has been trying to get a mole in here for a few weeks now. Oh no! So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to send you off on a little task to prove yourself. I want you to go meet a fellow new recruit. Frank? You and him have more in common than you know. Is it Frank? Go it's meet Frank. him at the El Rey Motel. It's Frank. He'll be waiting. I wonder who it'll be! Use the passphrase, hit the beast while it slumbers. It's been good chatting, but these old bones need some rest. So I'll catch up with you once your task is complete. Good hunting. I'll give those old bones some rest. I'll give them some rest in a fucking, in a grave. In a grave. No, no, don't kill him. Don't kill in him. In a grave. <laughs> ah, I want to kill. Ah! Restrain yourself. Ah! Okay, fine. Hosea is a butthole. Come on. Sorry, Hosea will have his reasons. The autocomplete in my brain is just trying to finish the sentence before she can finish it. Okay. Having ADHD is fun and not a nightmare <laughs> at all. I don't want to be good. I want to be evil. <laughs> the barons turn to large-scale lobbying to achieve their goals. 